over at Baker, forget my snowboard boots. Luckily the homie has a pair of uh, snowmobile sh boots that are like two and a half sizes too big. <laughs> Gonna double up on the socks and uh, enjoy life. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, my name is Chris Frignoka and I'm uh, originally from New Jersey. I moved to Oregon about three years ago just after finishing my college degree in uh, environmental biology and chemistry. I ended up out in Oregon because I a, had a passion for snowboarding uh, my entire life and had a couple buddies living out here. After shredding the ice coast for about 10 years, I knew it was uh, time to get on some real snow. So I started applying for some jobs and landed a pretty sweet gig working as a chemist for a sustainable agricultural company. I then shortly after met the Factotum crew and uh, it's been pretty awesome ever since. So it's uh, pretty great to be able to snowboard with a bunch of hardworking people that share the same passion of snowboarding as I do. Most of us are just weekend warriors. We all save our vacation time and just go on a few trips a year. This is for all you 9 to 5ers and uh, I hope you enjoy. My clam's a little salty. Um, I don't see any steps. Butter, like a butter sauce. Uh, On there? You know, always boiled. Uh, I guess you clam bake every once in a while, a little stuffing. Pretty good. <laughs> Why is beef jerky so expensive? What's up, my name is Eric Freckman. I've been riding for niche snowboards and candy grind for a couple of years now. But yeah, I'm, I've been in the Bend area for the last five years uh, working for a company called Cetera. We make eco-friendly pest control products using pheromones and uh, kind of just a, a weekend warrior trying to ride pal like everybody else.
Apache 3800 meat locker, the snowmobile edition. Where you keep all your, all your meats and your, uh, and your drone batteries. I uh, might have forgot my keys in a truck that's two and a half hours away, which has a sled key, which we need the sled for today. Hey, I'm Ren Pollig. I'm from the small town of Darrington, Washington. And I've been snowboarding for about six to seven years now. For my full-time career, I'm with the public utilities wastewater for the city of Arlington, which is just outside of this town here. They are very lenient with me taking time off, which really allows me to go on these different trips with the Factotum crew. And I just feel very lucky to be out here doing all this kind of stuff with them. You know, I never really thought I would have the opportunity to do something like this. Um, and everyone in this crew has just been so amazing and supportive. I'm just excited to see what comes of this. My name is Rory Meehan. My wife and I own the Heartland Inn in New Meadows, Idaho, at the base of Brundage Mountain. I started snowboarding about 35 years ago. When Lucas told me about the Factotum project and how he wanted to feature writers that didn't exactly work in the industry and had other careers, I felt like that was something the Heartland Inn can get behind. So we jumped into the project and we housed these guys to get some shots. Hope you enjoy the film. Hey, I'm Lucas Gibbons, founder of the Factotum Project. Factotum Project was started because I wanted to create a platform to showcase all the talented riders I know who don't have major sponsorships and don't have the time to film a full part every season. I want to tell their story and give them a chance to see their riding on the big screen. Our crew has put in so much time and effort over this past season, putting this movie together and getting this project off the ground. My long-term dream is to create a platform not just for writers, but for filmmakers and photographers to get the support they need and help each other out. Factotum is the idea of people from all walks of life coming together to share their love for snowboarding. 
Hi, I'm Sarah from Mount Hood, Oregon. Been snowboarding most of my life. Met the Factotum crew while living in Bend, Oregon. During that time, I juggled attending classes alongside multiple jobs, including physical therapy aid, food and beverage, childcare, and coach for Mount Bachelor Freeride Snowboard Program. I finished my degree in kinesiology from Oregon State University and shortly after moved to Jackson Hole, Wyoming to work for the Natural Selection Tour Build Crew. Creating your ideal work schedule is challenging, but it's worth Worth it when you can create time to snowboard in your mornings. I always designate at least one day off. I work as a personal trainer with the National Academy of Sports Medicine and bartend in restaurants and at weddings. Snowboarders don't have an ideal form. Variation is the norm. Whether you're working in the industry or not, I hope you find your own way to enjoy snowboarding. Hey, my name's Jackson. I'm 29 years old and I live in Bellingham, Washington. I started Mount Baker Window Cleaning Company when I was 24 to support my habit of snowboarding. Now we have 12 employees and we've set up our company so that they have the time and money to do the things they love in the outdoors. My ideal day in the backcountry is hanging out with some good friends, popping some tops and taking sled laps. Good afternoon, this is Jackson with Mount Baker Window Cleaning Company. How can I help you?
I'm Sam. I've been riding 20 plus years. Been living in Jackson Hole for a bit and uh, working seasonally, doing uh, carpentry in the summer, building stuff and some odd gigs on the side, make a little extra cash and try and stack money for winter. And then winter rolls around and I work in a snowboard shop part time and keep as much time as I can for riding. There's only a limited number of good days per season with avalanche conditions and visibility and things like that. So got to uh, go make the most of it. Go right in the middle. Oh. <laughs> Who's ever Bam. 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 Bam.